At six, thousands of flowers circled the flagpole at Appalachia High School as students passed it. They faced the reality of going back to school amid tragedy. Here are the two students and two teachers gunned down in the September 4th mass shooting, plus the nine victims who were hospitalized, all remembered as the school's reopening takes a somber tone this week. Atlanta News First, Anna Murphy is at Appalachia High School in Winder, and Adam, students told you they're just trying to get back to normal. Blair, students told me that it was really difficult for them and an emotional day trying to go back into the building and get reacquainted with everything. And tomorrow will be a tough one, too, because it marks the first official day of classes resuming since that shooting three weeks ago. Appalachian High School students and staff returned to campus on Monday for an open house. Three weeks after police say a 14-year-old student opened fire and killed four people. On September the 4th, our community was brought to its knees. Atlanta News First has learned that the section of the building where the shooting happened will be closed for the rest of the school year, and the social studies classes will now be held in a nearby Barrow County school building called Chi East on Star Street. Today is a huge step for us healing in this building behind us. Obviously, a lot of emotions going today. School officials said there will be an increased law enforcement presence, additional counselors, and other resources available when students return for half-day classes beginning on Tuesday. Still, some students like Sasha Contreras are demanding that more security measures be implemented. We need to not only feel safe, but be safe. Contreras spoke out about safety concerns at a statewide school walkout on Friday and said more than a thousand people have signed this online petition called Change for Chi. There is no online alternative. We won't even be able to use the trailers or pods until next semester. And part of our school is blocked off as if nothing ever happened. Barrow County Sheriff Judd Smith says despite calls for more security, he feels confident they are providing a safe learning environment. Uh, understand that there are safety measures in place and just because you don't see them doesn't mean they're not there. And students and staff will return for a half day schedule tomorrow that will run through October 4th. Then there will be a fall break and when students come back after that on October 14th, they will transition back to a normal schedule. Live at Appalachia High School in Barrow County tonight, Adam Murphy. Atlanta News First. And Adam, the Barrow County Board of Education meets tomorrow. High school security is a main concern. Atlanta News First was at their last meeting when they honored the first responders who jumped in to help immediately.